sign of life. I don't see a thing either. So anyway, there I am, without a gun. And this crouch got a schmeiser pointed right at me. I see his trigger fingers stiffen. I say to myself, Kovac, boy, you better pray. I mean, if you ever prayed before, pray he doesn't pull that trigger. Well, what happened? He pulled the trigger. It was terrible. It took me four hours to die. You <laughs> crazy nut. <laughs> All right, knock it off. Yeah, sorry, Sergeant. Town up ahead looks deserved, but maybe it's not. So for now on, Kovac, keep your mind on your business. Take the business, Sergeant. Cage, radio. Checkmate, King 2. This is Weiberg, over. Now, this is King 2. Have you reached phase line green, over? Roger. King 2 out. That was Saunders, sir. He says the town looks deserted, but they're going in to check it out. I didn't know Private Kovac was married. I don't know, sir. Uh, Captain Chappell, please. Lieutenant Hanley calling. Chappell speaking. Uh, sir, I've got a I've got a letter from Clark General Hospital in Detroit. I don't know if it's a gag around the level. You got time to listen to it. Go ahead. Concerns one of my men, Private Stephen Kovac. Here it is. Dear sir, I am a friend of Helen Kovac. She and me are patients in the same ward, and she's dying. Her husband, Steve Kovac, is one of your soldiers. He don't know me, so I'd like you to break the news to him, then send him home right away. You better hurry. His wife ain't going to live long. Faithfully, Mrs. Pearl Wilson. That's yes, rough. Uh... Listen, I'll have the Red Cross verified. If it's on a level by Kovac, it'll rate an emergency leave. Uh, Lieutenant, I'll be prepared to execute Plan A. Yes, sir. What a lousy break. I always had not sit on ice, guys. I've got a meeting over at Battalion. Tell the squad leaders to double up in the basic ammo loads. Extra grenades for each man. Tell Doc to double up in his medical supplies. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, I just remembered. Kovacs is on that patrol with Saunders. Yeah. I, I thought maybe he'd like to have me uh, radio and call him back, sir. No, they do back at 1,700 hours. No reason to have him stew unnecessarily. We'll see how the Red Cross checks it out. If it's on the level, I'll tell him. Rick 
Jason. And Vic Morrow. Guest star, Chad Everett. Let me fix that for you, little John. Thanks, Steve. Any crowds in this town are probably up high spotting, so keep your eyes open. Remember, we're here to get information, not to fight. Uh, oh, nurse. Smitty said you had a message for me. Oh, yeah, the lieutenant wants you to lay in a double basic load of supplies. Double? Yeah, it looks like there's a big push coming up. Boy, it must be a doozy. Now, what's this about uh, Kovac's wife? Smitty says she's dying. That's right. Steve doesn't even know yet. Hanley wouldn't let me radio to get him in off patrol. Well, maybe he had his reasons. I better go get those supplies. Check it out, huh? <laughs> it's a bad one. Try to get the radio off. See if we can raise Hanley. Tell him what happened. See if we can have some medics meet us on our way back.
this thing's got pool sides. It's clean. Come on, let's get out of here. Coming down the street. Oh, coming back in here. This must be a headquarters. Cage is the way out the back. Oh, this one's blocked by rubble, but this one leads down to a cellar. There's good cover down there. All right, let's go. Sie sind schon hier gewesen. Feldwebel, suchen Sie nach, ob Sie noch ins Ort versteckt sind. Jawohl, Herr Hortmann. Saunders back yet? No, sir. Did he call in? No, sir. Uh, Captain Jampo called, sir. He said to give you a message. That letter about Kovac's wife, it's on the level. She's gonna die. Saunders. They already tried, sir. After Captain Jample called, but their radio must be on their fritz or else. Try again. Yes, sir. White Rook, this is Checkmate King 2. Over. White Rook, this is King 2. Over. White Rook, this is Checkmate King 2. Over. Keep trying. Yes, sir. White Rook, this is Checkmate King 2. Over.
Yeah, pretty good, little chum. So it's what happens if those crops up there don't pull out. We stay put till they do. But it could be up there for days. So we'll stay put for days. Yes, sir. He's right here, sir. Captain Jample, sir. Lieutenant Hanley. Lieutenants, we execute plan A. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm asking Williams and Coates to meet me at your place for a briefing, as we discussed. Roger, sir. I came to report, sir. You know that new replacement, a kid named Roberts? I had to take him back to Battalion 8. He had appendicitis. Hmm. Lucky kid. We push off on the big attack at 0400 tomorrow morning. Mac, alert the squad leaders. Captain Jample is holding a briefing session for the platoon leaders here just before the attack. I'll fill the squad leaders in later. Tell them to get that end to second early. It's going to be rough tomorrow. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, is there any further word on Kovacs' wife? She's dying and waiting for her husband. He's been missing in action for two days. I'm sorry, Sarge. It's just that I... I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Hey, John. You remember that, uh, that little redhead I was telling you about? The one with the big, uh, blue eyes? Huh? You know what I'm gonna do when we get stateside? I'm gonna fix you up with her. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> She's gonna go for you in a great big way. She's got to. You're a big guy, aren't you? You mean the girl in, in, in Miami? Ah, the St. Louis babe. <laughs> a lot of Miami's a drag. All she likes to do is sit home and listen to the radio. No good, huh? Not for me, Sarge. I'm a real hot shot. <laughs> but the St. Louis woman, she's a real deluxe model. Know what I mean? Eight cylinder and good in every gear. You give her a hot band and a dance floor and she'll shake all night long. Yep. Yeah, I don't dance. I, I always freeze up. I wouldn't worry about that, pal. I think she'll defrost you. <clears throat> you crazy nut. There's Spade in L.A., an animal trainer, really wild. First time I saw her, she's wrestling this boa constrictor. She wears a dress with a, with a neckline cleared out of the floor. And if we don't stop till we reach the river, now we'll be here in the center, Fox Company on the left, Charlie Company on the right. Now you can bet the Germans are gonna fight for every inch of land. They know we've knocked out their bridges, so all they can rely on to get across the river are pontoons. Of course, it's our job to make sure they do not get across that river. What do you want me, sir? You'll be on the left, Coates, up through the town of St. Martin. You'll be on the right, Hanley, up through this valley. Ferber's weapons platoon will be in general support with Williams in reserve. Now, if you need me, I'll be with Williams during the initial stage. Now, I have 0135. Ten minutes from now, the bombers are due. At 0200, our H and I fire starts. Two hours after that is H hour. At H hour minus 30 minutes, the artillery preparation starts. Good luck. Sir, would it make any difference if uh, Coates and I switch positions in the push? You want to go through St. Martin? Oh, yes, sir. That is, uh, if it's all right with Coates. Be my guest. 
Figure it's gonna be real rough going through that town. All right, Henley, as you wish. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, that patrol with Kovac in it, uh, it was on its way to San Martin before it became missing in action, is that right? Yes, sir. Lieutenant, the fact that a woman is dying back in the States and her husband is missing in action is rough. But this war is rough on a lot of people, and no matter who gets hurt, the war goes on. Yes, sir, but it was my decision not to bring Kovac back from that patrol. Yes, and in my book, it was the right decision. But just remember this, you are a lieutenant in the United States Army. You're not God, nobody expects you to be. More replacements. No, I understand, of course, sir, but you. Yeah, Saunders squad, they made it, Lieutenant. Uh, Captain, Saunders squad just got back. I'll call you in a few minutes. It's a late. What happened? We tried to spin down in a cellar. We couldn't get out till our barrage started. Everything all right? Everything except little Johnny got purple hot in his shoulder. Doc Menace on the way back and took him to Battalion 8. Well, I figured, Lieutenant, the Army owes us about nine hot meals. What's the matter, right? Say something wrong? You better read this, Kovac. Shaped and cleaned up. 
Mac will drive you back to battalion. Your emergency leave is waiting there. I'll fly you back to the States. We got word his wife is dying. As you can probably tell from the uh, planes and barrage, a general attack is being mounted. 0400. Better get some rest till then. Yes, sir. Captain General, sir. On the phone. Lieutenant Hanley. About Kovac. Uh, yes, sir. I can have him back to battalion in about half an hour. Can you reinstate his air transportation to the States? Uh, Lieutenant, I just received a wire from the Red Cross. Kovac's wife has passed away. His leave's been canceled. Thank you, sir. Steve and Todd, but well, you needed to go home with. Thanks, Mike. Steve, you want a little shot? Well, thanks, Kerb. I don't much feel like it now. Did your wife mention that she was sick? We were separated. Might want some later on. Leave it there. Thanks. We sure sweated you guys out for almost three days. And the lieutenant and me was afraid uh, you'd all gotten it. Well, it's too bad that letter didn't get here before we left. Yeah, come a uh, half hour after. I wanted Hanley to let me radio and call you back, but he decided against it. Bad news for you. Just got word from the Red Cross. Your wife died. I know there's uh, nothing anybody can say that's going to help much at a time like this, but if there's anything I can do, no, sir. Well, since your leave's been canceled, I'm sending you back to battalion rear. Mike will give you a lift. Yes, sir. Saunders, move out three minutes, saddle him up. Lieutenant. That, uh, letter from the woman in the hospital, when did it come? About half an hour after you left on patrol that day. Half hour? We weren't even in San Martin yet. I could have been back. Back in the States by now. Why didn't you radio me, sir? Why don't you call me back from that patrol? Go back, I... I considered it. And I decided to, uh, Save you the anxiety until the Red Cross confirmed the letter. Time to move out. Saddle up. Thanks, anxiety. You hear that? Doesn't want me to have anxiety. My wife is dying. And he decides not to tell me, because I might have anxiety. All right, Kovac, get ready, huh? Why, Sarge? I can't even go to the funeral. What is this guy? Who gives him the right to say when an enlisted man will be told his personal business? 
I took it easy. Lieutenant Hanley thought he was doing the right thing. Yeah, he thought, huh? And what he thinks goes. Those bars on his collar give him the right of life and death over guys like me? Well, that may be all right for some guys, Sarge, but not for me. Knock it off, Kovac. You're ordered to battalion rear. Sure. Sure, Kovac. Go to battalion rear. Wait for a transfer. Having you here reminds the lieutenant of what he'd like to forget. Right, come on, let's move out. to another outfit and hand my problem over to another platoon leader no he stays okay sergeant Steve, you don't need to put on your gear to go back to battalion. Come on, come on. Hey, where are you going? Follow my lieutenant into battle. What do you think? for the river. Where's Hanley? I gotta find him. I, I don't know him, pal.
Lewis 361st, huh? King Company. I can help you, buddy. Come on. I was just going back for some help. It's, it's, it's Hanley. He's... Hanley, what about? Where is he? Well, he's trapped back there. Trapped? Yeah. Hey, we got separated from the platoon. It was just Hanley and Sergeant, me. And what do you mean trapped? What happened to Hanley? There's a, there's a bunch of crops dug in real good up there on the hill. I had two machine guns. I didn't even see them until I got hit. And then Hanley came out to help me while Sarge gave us cover. And I made it back, but Hanley didn't. He's still out there now, wounded. In a shell hole, I don't think he's got much of a chance to get back. He's gonna die. I'm sure he's gonna die if Sarge don't get some help. I couldn't find him, so I gave him my BAR and I come running back here for help. Hey, hey look, Steve. Give my hand back there, huh? Help us, Steve! I need you! Sure, Cuff, sure. I wouldn't want to be away from all Hanley at a time like this now, would I? Here. Kirby said Hanley was trapped. Well, I'll be. Kirby was right. He can't get out of there, can he? As soon as you run out of ammo, those crops will come down and give him the works. Listen, Kodak, those crops think I'm here alone. They think I'm here alone, you're gonna keep them thinking that. Every time they fire, you fire back. I'll go around and try to flank them. Maybe I can surprise them with a couple grenades, okay? Sure, Sarge. You do whatever you like. You do as I say. Why should I? You can't change the way I feel, man. I hate his guts. You hate him or do you hate yourself? What's that supposed to mean? You said you were separated. What did you do, walk out on your wife? That's my business. What was wrong with her? She sit around listening to the radio? She get in the way of all those girls you're running around with? Are you listening? No, you listen. You feel guilty because you let your wife down. You think it's be any easier if you do the same thing to him? 
Now you get this. Every time those crots fire, you fire back with this. You got it? There's another one. Those are all the answers. Krieg der Leutnant. Und passen Sie auf. Da, ah, schnell! Sure, I'm glad you're here. Yes, sir. You all right? Yeah, I will be. As soon as I get these slugs out. Here comes Doc. I ran into Kirby back there. Think you can make it? I think so. But I better get him back. Let out! Tell him. You can tell him later. I think he'll understand. Come on, let's go. We got a job to finish. <laughs> 